You want to know more? You have to watch this video now. Please click like, share, subscribe, and notification. One of the most rewarding aspects of being a life coach and a spiritual teacher is guiding people in staying positive or neutral. Seeing you respond to a philosophy that can help and assist you in drawing closer to aligning yourself with the universe is an experience to be cherished. To teach those like yourself who are hungry for my knowledge and watch you begin to make significant changes in your character, personality, outlook, and conduct is my mission. In the past, before I became a spiritual teacher, I questioned my qualifications to fulfill this commission, but I overcame my own doubts and insecurities and carried out my calling. I used my strength and wisdom. Accepting and creating my own training program and taking full advantage of opportunities to increase my understanding of my visions and knowledge has improved my ability to instruct what I know to be. I strive to learn simpler ways for my teaching to go even deeper. I must clearly understand all my subjects if I have to make it understandable to others. Commenting during public or private meetings helps me fix any main points in my mind for future use. Therefore, this preparation allows my confidence in my teaching ability to grow. I work on being a blunt and straightforward life coach who has no time for excuses from neither my pupils nor have empathy toward your excuses. From the outset, life coaches learn from each other while engaging in the discipline of making it work. We each have our own philosophies. My objective is to see some of you, as well as my pupils, become life coaches in their own unique professional domain. For the rest of you, I would hope that you progress in life, in a positive way, and accomplish whatever dreams you have. Indeed, merely listening or reading about our strategies of assistance is like putting a house on top of sand, no digging required. However, to do, or apply, what may help you is challenging. It involves digging deep to reach solid rock. My question is. Whether you apply what you should do to better yourself or not. When you apply what you have learned in your daily life, you are like the discreet man who dug deep. So again, ask yourself. Am I a listener or am I a doer? Do I merely read or do I apply what I have learned? Will it help me? If you build up your life by applying what you learn from us, no storm will break or shake your house. You are not always what you appear to be. You have the strength but you do not know how to initiate it. My job is to help you find it so that whatever situation you may be in, you will always smile and stay positive or neutral. Nothing will be able to affect your positive field. Whatever trauma you may face, or have faced, you have to pick up the pieces and find the strength to move on. It may not be easy but it is up to you to turn your life around. When I see someone offering their services for very little money, part of me wonders how much experience they have. The same story applies on books or ebooks, for you are devaluating its true content. You either believe in what you have to offer or you don't, there is no in-between. He must be unskilled if people are only willing to pay him that much. Ricky Donato Asking clients if your rate is fair, shows a lack of confidence in your abilities and that is the last thing you want a potential client to feel second guess your worth. The excerpt is taken from How to deal with emotions and the life of a motivational speaker. So for more detail pick up the book. Thank you for watching, like and comment, and please don't forget to subscribe. See you at the next video. Purify our mind and body. Thank you for your support. We encourage you to share. Video is directed by myself, Gio DiCaprio.